Hello everyone, this is the long-awaited Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro Max comparison. Why long-awaited? Because last year we compared the iPhone 14 Pro Max and Galaxy S22 Ultra, and some viewers were not happy with the fact that we are comparing the new iPhone and the old Samsung. Viewers suggested that I wait for the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and only then make a comparison. So I heard you, today we are comparing the new Samsung and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which has aged almost half a year. What about price? The iPhone 14 Pro Max is priced at 1100 pre-tax in the US and 1449 euros in Europe with tax in the lowest configuration. The Galaxy S23 Ultra costs 1100 US dollars in the lowest configuration and the 1400 euros in Europe with tax. Both phones with 500 gigabytes of internal memory cost the same, 1570 euros or 1370 dollars before tax. It's very expensive, we are gradually approaching 2000 dollars for a flagship and this is not a joke. Samsung and Apple have taken a similar approach to designing their flagships. They don't change the look of the devices much, and I can criticize them for that. You can evaluate the design of a phone according to a different criteria, and it will still be a subjective assessment. I love the way the iPhone looks and feels in my hand, and I love the design of the new Galaxy S23 Ultra at the same time. Both phones have made bags and both phones feel premium. And most importantly, there are the only phones that do not lose the feeling of of high cost in their native protective cases. Samsung and Apple are the only two companies with the best in-house accessories. The build quality of the iPhone has always been a very high level. Monolithic body assembly without backlash and noise during use. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is much better than the Galaxy S22 Ultra in terms of build quality. It has become thicker, the chassis of the phone body is more massive and the screen is less curved on the sides. If visually the Galaxy S23 Ultra has not changed much, then the tactile changes are very noticeable and felt the first time you touch the phone. Two of the best screens on the market, but the differences between them are huge. With richer colors and deeper blacks, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is perfect for watching videos, taking photos and playing games. But the iPhone screen is more suitable for those people who create content on a phone. If you need to process a photo, shoot and edit a video for social networks on your phone, you need an iPhone for these tasks. It has more realistic colors and more correct image calibration. If you read a lot on your phone and work with text, the iPhone is also preferable. If you read a lot on your phone and work with text, the iPhone is also preferable, as its screen strains your eyesight less. As practice has shown, the user often prefers Samsung Galaxy screens simply because the image on it is more beautiful and more contrasted. The maximum brightness of the iPhone screen is 2000 nits. Samsung has 1750 nits. But if on the iPhone you cannot set the maximum brightness manually and must trust the automatic mode, then on the Galaxy S23 Ultra you can set the brightness to the maximum value and on a bright sunny day the screen of your Galaxy S23 Ultra will shine brighter. Auto brightness in the iPhone 14 Pro Max very rarely brings the screen to 2000 nits. But so much is not required, everything is perfectly visible on both screens even in direct sunlight. But there is another problem. At maximum brightness, the iPhone and Galaxy will not be able to work for a long time. In this mode, the smartphone quickly heats up in the sun and the system is forced to reduce the brightness of the screen until the device cools down. A16 Bionic and Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. To be honest, the difference in performance between this chip is so negligible that I would not even pay attention to it. Social networks and other third-party applications open at almost the same time with a difference of a fraction of a second. The iPhone loads the system almost three times faster. But we don't turn off our phones, so this test is just for fun. Here is an example of the work of the Adobe Rush application and the processing of the same file.
And mobile games are the best played on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. In the game Genshin Impact at maximum graphic settings, both phones support the maximum FPS value. It feels like the responsiveness of the screen and touch on the iPhone is much higher than on the Samsung. But the iPhone heats up very much and because of this the screen brightness decreases very quickly. And it is simply uncomfortable to continue playing. In other, less demanding games, both phones will work perfectly. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is better at handling large amount of data and transfer speeds. The problem is that the iPhone does not know how to prioritize and take on the maximum network load. If you have several connected devices at home, including iPhone, Android phone, Windows laptop and something else, then you can be sure that all these devices will have connection and data transfer priority iPhone will always lag the bandwidth of the channel. It will always be forced out by someone, regardless of whose data transfer session started earlier. And that's the problem. Compare photos and videos taken on the Galaxy S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is 200 megapixels Samsung photo. It's a 48 megapixels iPhone photo. At maximum zoom, the Samsung camera has more detail as expected. But the difference is different. Using 200 megapixels mode, Samsung applies AI algorithms to the photo, tints the colors, change the dynamic range, and the iPhone in the 48 megapixels mode taking a picture in RAW format and essentially processes nothing at all in the picture. This photo was taken with a 3x zoom lens. Photos taken on Samsung often look more beautiful and richer. Here is a photo taken with an ultra-wide angle camera. Samsung has a brighter photo in dark areas and camera's aperture is better the iPhone. This is a photo in a dark room without using night mode. Here you can clearly see how the Galaxy S23 Ultra camera works better with dark areas. This shot shows how the dynamic range of smartphones works and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has a wider and and better dynamic range. And this is a photo with night mode activated. And I think the iPhone did a little better. This is a video recording test and I think the iPhone produces a sharper and more contrasty image. Videos on Samsung are heavily processed by algorithms and it catches the eye. Although among all Android phones, Samsung is still the best phone for shooting video. This is what the Galaxy S23 Ultra sounds like. And this is how the iPhone 14 Pro Max sounds. And this is a microphone performance test. This is the Galaxy S23 Ultra and voice message. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max and voice message. battery life. The Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max are very close in terms of battery life. Samsung has 1500 battery and a dynamic refresh rate screen. The iPhone has 4300 battery and the same screen. Due to the limited functionality of iOS and the lack of powerful multitasking system, the iPhone lasts a little longer. Now you can see the results. Both phones hold the record for battery life among premium phones. Features. iOS and Android are more alike than ever. Companies take over each other's function and often you already forget who borrowed ideas from whom. The lock screen settings looks almost the same on Samsung and iPhone. Even some phones are almost identical. Working with photos in the gallery also has many common functions. Copied almost one and one. Here you have a smart separation of the object from the background of the image, detailed information about the picture and so on. Where Android is unmatched is screen customization. If this is important for you, then your choice is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. 
This year the iPhone and Samsung are forced to fight against each other, as it was many years ago, at the very beginning of the development of Android and iOS. Now there are no obstacles in their way in the face of Chinese flagship phones, because Chinese phones are not able to compete with these two monsters of the market in such a high price segment. We've worked in the hands of both Samsung and the iPhone, because now they can concentrate on improving their products without distraction, which I think they are very good at. Unfortunately, the best phones on the market are becoming more expensive and apparently this can no longer be stopped. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and don't miss the new video. Bye!